In this video, I'm going to tell you about the Asus Zen Screen Touch and why I think this is the best portable touchscreen monitor for Samsung DeX. Before we start this video, I'd like you guys to just comment down below what your current Samsung DeX setup is. What monitor do you have it connected to? What kind of mouse or keyboard, if you have one, are you connecting to it? If you don't have anything, then continue watching this video to see why this thing is going to rock your world. So this is not a sponsored video. I bought this thing on my own. In fact, so far on this channel, everything I've bought and I've just decided to do reviews on them. But Asus, hi. Give me a call. So the reason why I bought this is because I wanted a nice big screen to view my movies on, on my commute home. And after doing all my research, I found out that my phone can connect to an external monitor. And then I needed that external monitor to also have its own battery because the phone won't be able to power it. And I also needed the external monitor to have a touch screen. So in my research, the Asus Zen Screen Touch appeared and I bought it and I absolutely loved it. So on my commutes home, I'll be watching my Netflix, everyone will be kind of giving me dirty looks, going, what the hell are you doing with such a massive screen? But I loved it. I enjoyed it. I had the best commutes home. Now, the model number for this thing is MB16AMT, but it's also called the Asus Zen Screen Touch. This is a USB portable monitor. It has a built-in battery. It has speakers built in, and it also has a 10 point touch screen. This is a 15.6 inch IPS panel with 178 degrees viewing angle. It's got a full HD screen resolution. That's 1920 by 1080 pixels. The brightness is listed at 250 nits. Now the battery in this thing is 7,800 milliamp hours, which lasts about four hours. And it means that whatever device is connected to, it's not gonna be draining the battery from. So in the case of Samsung DeX, this thing will not drain your battery from your phone. So the monitor can go for about 349 US dollars or about 352 pounds. That's the last price I checked on Amazon. Maybe you can click on one of the links in the description to see how much it is right now. Let's play that game. Click on the link in the description to see exact price right now. It comes with a foldable case that doubles up as a stand and have that angle. You can have this angle and it's all magnetic. So it just comes off literally just, just like that. It's only 0.9 millimeters thick and it weighs only 0.9 kgs. So this has got two ports on it. It's got a USB-C port and it's got a micro HDMI. So the USB socket has a hybrid signal solution. So that means that you can connect it to a, let's say computer or laptop that has a USB-C output for a monitor and it will work natively as, it, as if it's an actual monitor. Or if you just plug it into a, a machine that's just got a regular USB-A, as long as you install the display link software, then it will also then be detected as an external monitor. So that makes this thing ideal for laptops, computers, and smartphones. It comes with a micro HDMI to full size HDMI. So you can connect anything with a HDMI output to this thing. For example, if you wanted to connect your Xbox or your PlayStation, or any other games console, you can. You can even connect this screen to your camera, for example, and have a nice massive 15.6 inch monitor to, to view yourself if you're doing something like I am. So I'm actually using the monitor right here at the moment. I've got my phone connected to it, so I've got Samsung DeX open. I've got Word with all my notes, and then I've got the Lumix app, which allows me to wirelessly connect to my camera, and I can see myself and I can hit record and stop record. Ingenious. If you want a much bigger screen for your phone, I'd recommend this monitor because you can just connect it up and then you've got a nice 15.6 inch screen for your phone. Anywhere you want to go. So when my little kid was born, I took this and my phone to the hospital. We stayed there for seven days. And this is what all my entertainment was. I watched Amazon Prime on this. 
I watch YouTube on this. So you need to install the Zen Screen Touch app onto your Android phone in order to get this to work as a touchscreen monitor for your phone. So this thing is really meant for Windows laptops and Android devices. If you connect it to an iOS device or a Mac, it's not really gonna be picked up as a touchscreen. It's just gonna become a standard external monitor. One neat thing that it does as well, so when it's connected up to a PC, it actually detects the orientation of the monitor. So you can have it in landscape and you can have it in vertical. It's really, really cool. There's only two buttons on this thing. So you've got the power button and you've got the menu button. And the menu button is a nice little five-way joystick. It comes with an included pen. So let me tell you this clever thing that they've done. There's a hole right here. And then you put the pen into the hole. You've got yourself a makeshift stand. There's only two cons that I can actually think about this. It's not as bright as I would have liked it to have been, but it, you know, I can manage. And especially when it's connected to my, um, my computer, if it's connected to my phone, not a problem. It is expensive for what it is. Once again, this thing plus a Samsung DeX phone is a winning combo. So in conclusion, I think this thing is brilliant. If you connect it to your Samsung DeX, the possibilities are endless. If you found this video useful, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit like on this video. Comment, tell me what you thought of this video. Tell me, tell me right now. Do not exit on this video. Hit pause if you have to. Go and type something in the comments. Tell me what you thought. If you have Samsung DeX, is this something that you can work with? In fact, do you know what? I even heard that they've made a 14 inch version of this. So if you don't want something as big as 15.6 inch, maybe a 14 inch screen version might help you. Hey, well done, you made it to the end. Okay, so do me a favor, like this video, right? And then subscribe if you haven't already. Hit like, go on, I dare you, you still here? Did you hit like? Did you hit the subscribe button?